walking to the spot. It's like five miles. Tagged it. When you got them motor brakes and shit, but you know how that is. Anyways, I'll get right back with you when we get there. Um, the trip went ahead and the walk was a little bit shortened <laughs> because uh, one of the officers, you know, asked me what I was doing. And I went ahead and told him I was going fishing, told him where. He asked me if I needed a ride. Of course, I had to take pick up on that. But uh, other than that, we're almost there. Very nice man, by the way. Very nice old man. Uh, didn't get to get his name, but hopefully I get it before I get back. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very muddy, and the water's, like, very, very high. So, yeah. It's not as muddy because I'm wearing these shoes, but it's, like, the closer I get, the more I start sinking in. And it is all sand, by the way. So, yeah. Time for me to start catching some bait. The guard here in my area, every location is different. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. There's always different rates for different things. Now here, I'm using shad. I'll put, I know people say it's ridiculous, but I'll put anywhere between six to almost 15 shad on one hook. I'll cut the tail off and I'll let it bleed. And within, Sometimes it could be five minutes, sometimes it could be three minutes, but three minutes all the way up until like 20 minutes, I'll have a run. All right, guys. I threw it in. About 10 minutes, I was going to start recording. Slack started giving out, started running in slowly, set it back down. I was about to smoke a cigarette. I really wouldn't put that out there, but about to smoke a cigarette. Line started running. Now, usually... If I had one of my friend's leaders, which is Eric Hernandez, we, we call him Stinger Leaders, I would have yanked it immediately. But my phone was way by my backpack. And, uh, man. Well, this is what we got so far. Good little four foot guard. Dragged them on bank. As soon as I got them on bank, my line popped. Hold on. Dragged them on bank. I'm going to put them right next to my pole. It's not an alligator guard, by the way. It's a needle nose. So, kind of disappointed in it because I wanted an alligator guard. But, hey, a guard's a guard, bro. Y'all got to see that. In the long run, y'all have to see that. But, look. He's a good size. Yeah, eat a bitty one. Gotta check my other boats. Yeah, eat a bitty one. But now you can't say that I never caught one. So give me a second and I'll get right back to you. You gotta check this pole. I just got smacked by my own belt. But. This is what we came up with. Can't get a guard. We got one. He's a good size. But today, I made, like I said, I made that far walk. I am not about to walk home with this one. So, yeah, I gotta get back to fishing. Guard number one, needle nose guard. And ladies and people, Little nose guard, they are all you can catch, all you can eat. So if you catch 10 of them, you don't gotta release all 10. You just go ahead and take them home if you want to. Now alligator guard is one per day, but it depends on what park you go to. State parks are different. Y'all should actually look into that.
right, guys. Well, I'm back out again. Took me a while. I had to catch more bait, more everything. Re rig. He popped in my line when I brought him up to the bank. Sad, I know. But it is what it is. Okay, guys. Here's what happened. I had another run. Happened so fast. And I'm using 40 pound suffix, bro. Guard teeth. When you when when you hook a guard, you want to make sure that you hook him right. And even if you hook him right, if that tooth even nicks your line, he will pop it. So you got to work with your drag and everything. But on top of that, like I said, go ahead and contact Eric Hernandez if you need some leaders. So that way, even if you had one of his leaders, I promise you, I promise you, you will land a guard. Look him up. His name is Captain Eric Hernandez. At the end of this episode, I will go ahead and I will give you his number all his contact information so if you ever want to hit him up or if you're looking for a guard guide or even shark guide or any type of land based guide eric hernandez would be your guy we have administrators and guides all over texas so if you ever feel like actually getting out there and catching one of these prehistoric animals hit one of them up all right i'm gonna leave this on for a little bit because uh these bikes are like crazy, like they're hitting hard, they're hitting fast, and they're giving me hardly any chance to even keep up with them. I popped my line like four times already, and I'm using 45 pound suffix. People say use bigger, but when you know what you're doing and everything, and I'm not saying I'm the best fisherman out there, and I'm not saying I don't know how to fish, but when you go fishing for certain things, you actually tend to pick up a trait. For instance, if you're gonna go salt water, you know what you're doing when it comes to salt water. When you're going for bluegill or anything else, like bait wise, you know what you're doing. I think I got a bite, I'm not sure. That's nah, none. But, gar are different at practically every location. Hold on, I got a bite. What you want to do is let them run with it for a little bit. If not, it's gonna come out, and that's a perfectly good example. So, usually, I should have known better. People usually let them run for about, let's say, a whole cigarette. Sometimes they'll run about a hundred yards upstream, downstream, whichever direction they're going, they'll run with it, and then you'll feel them biting, kind of like the way bluegill bite, like a little bite, and then once they taste it, they'll go ahead and turn around and come back, and let them make one more pass, and uh, go ahead, and you'll finally know when they finally actually start hitting it pretty good because they'll start running a lot faster and that's the best time to go ahead and tighten down and uh, let him go ahead and uh, run and then just nail him all right guys well i'm gonna call it an evening already it's here for about three four hours had a 
a lot of runs today. I didn't come with the proper equipment. Like uh, I said, if you don't come with the right equipment, for instance, when you go salt water or whatever, sometimes it's just gonna luck out. Well, today was a lucky day. I just came to try to get whatever, you know, cat, anything. And, uh, you know, I lucked out on that four foot needle nose. But, uh, be honest with you, you know, like I said, I'll try it again. Next time I'll come more prepared and everything. Um, you know, when I come back, you know, I'll be sure to go ahead and do another video. Um, for Facebook, make sure y'all go ahead and hit up a page where me and a couple of other administrators are involved in. Um, it's called uh, Gatan Maniac. If you ever ask, if you need shirts, hats, anything, you know, just hit one of the admins up and we'll get back to you on that. Um, for leaders, if you need any leaders, for instance, for GAR or anything, like I said, I ain't come prepared, hit up Eric Hernandez. Eric Hernandez, his number is 361-728-4746. Alright guys, y'all be safe, tight lines, and keep on fishing.